now that the <clears throat> Infinity War, or Avengers 3 Infinity War, if you want me to get technical about it, is on Netflix, I've been able to binge watch it multiple times. And basically, they could have killed Thanos, like, I don't know, like, fucking three different ways, at least. At the very least, like, three different ways. Way number one is Doctor Strange could have opened a portal around the glove and cut off his arm like they did to the big, uh, the big hulking dude that was like basically their version of the Hulk that had the hammer. Han cut, have it, cut off his arm. Why can't they do that to Thanos? Another thing is was when... He's trapped and being held down. They could have opened a portal around his waist and cut him in half. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's kind of like the same thing, but you know what I'm trying to say. Use a portal to kill him. Not too hard. He could have done it. He had multiple chances to do it. He has a time stone. If you messed up the first time, rewind. Do it again. Keep on trying until you fail. Or you don't fail until you succeed. Because you can reverse time. Because you have the time stone. No? Am I crazy? I might be. Because apparently they didn't think about this. Um. Yeah. It's like. I don't know. They Like that movie was just absolutely 110,000% designed for Thanos to win. Case point. I mean, him even fighting the Avengers is kind of pointless. He's Once he gets the reality gem, it's like all over. I can turn you guys into anything I want. He does it to Drax and to Mantis. He turns Drax into cubes and he turns Mantis into ribbons like in the comics. But it's like he can go way further beyond that. He could just turn in, in every single person in the universe to teacups. You don't need the other other stones for that he has the reality gem which controls reality so he could make it so every living being in this reality is a teacup there's nothing from stopping him from doing that you don't need all five to do that you know what i mean i don't know that and scarlet witch is officially the strongest person by far in the MCU on the hero side. Bar none. She blew up an Infinity Stone while holding back Thanos with all the other Infinity Stones. What more needs to be said? Scarlet Witch is a beast. Which I'm pretty sure that's what Phase 4 is going to be. Is the House of M comic series if you don't know about it look it up it's amazing she basically loses her mind and creates an ultimate alternate reality where charles charles xavier tries to like tap into her mind and try and tell her that everything she's seeing and doing isn't real and that she's like distorting the like everything in the universe it's insane you need to check it out but yeah either house of m or Secret Wars. Either or would be amazing. They need to do it. But yeah. As far as Thanos goes, they definitely nerfed the hell out of him. They like, you know what I mean? Like, they send all of Earth's superheroes at him in the comic books, and he's basically like, yeah, whatever. Get away from me. I'm not dealing with you. And he systematically takes out each and every single person. At that point in the comics, Eric Masterson is Thor. Which is the human who is able to wield Thor's hammer. And if he doesn't come in contact with Mjolnir for more than 60 seconds, he transforms back into his human form. So that's what Thor does. He throws his hammer at him. He's just like warped and warps the hammer to like the other side of the galaxy. And Eric Masterson turns back to normal. He gets defeated instantly. 
Cyclops gets a a like a, a box around his head that's airtight and he can't breathe. He, he dies. It's just insane. Insanity. So this next movie better live up to the comics. Well, it's gonna be a fight. Not really. I'm there's nothing I can really do. I'm probably still gonna like it regardless, but yeah. Just wanna talk about it because I don't really have anything else to talk about. And I just need to put more content on my YouTube page for my subscribers. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. As always, put your hands in the air for the spirit bomb.